Hello everyone. Welcome to the English Academy. Here I have a video for students of class 12 where I will discuss some strategies to improve your reading comprehension. First of all, reading comprehension is the ability to read text properly, then how you should process it and finally to understand its meaning. so a person's capability to comprehend a text in a better way is influenced by his own personal skills so you can improve your skills so one of the skill is the ability to make inferences that is to understand what the author is trying to say through his text if word recognition is difficult for a person if he is weak in his language skills then they use so much of the time in processing the uh, words processing the uh, meaning of the words in a sentence and they cannot understand the meaning which is conveyed in the sentence so i would suggest you that if you want to comprehend a passage in a better way if you want to understand its meaning in a better way then you must read a lot of uh, different different passages you should improve your vocabulary you should have a vast knowledge of words their meanings so that you can understand uh, the message which is conveyed by the author in a better way and you can also adopt some reading strategies so some strategies which you can adopt in uh, reading the text in a better way so first of all you need a good grasp over the english language you should be fluent in the language and as i said earlier also you should have a very strong vocabulary base so i would suggest you to read some uh, good books on english and uh, read some uh, books which give the new words and their meanings so that you can strengthen your base over the language then how should you process the information which is given in the text in a better way first of all i think if you have a prior knowledge of the topic which is there in the comprehension passage it will help you process it understand it in a better way then you can always underline you can mark the important points which the uh, message has then you should uh, have the ability to correlate to analyze and link make a link between what you know about the text earlier and what you are reading at present in the text then you should find out where the text is it it matches with what you know about it earlier and you should uh, note the points where it is conflicting with what you knew about it earlier so you must have two types of uh, images in your mind where the text is matching with what you know about the topic and where it is conflicting with it then how should you understand its meaning in a better way first of all you should be able to decode the passage you should be able to make out what the author wants to convey then you should know the meaning of the text further you should think in depth about what you are reading you should be able to analyze it and visualize it and i feel that you should be able to summarize it in your own words like if the passage is of about 500 or 600 words you should be able to write the gist of it in uh, 50 or 100 words so that is if you are able to do that that means that you have understood the message of the author that uh, only then you can do this okay so further uh, there are some questions which follow the passage so now till now i have told you how you should understand read the passage and now how should you attempt these questions so broadly speaking we can say that there are four different types of questions in the reading comprehension so there are the questions which you can say write their type of questions then there are the think and search questions author and you type of questions and then on your own questions now i will tell you about them one by one the write their type of questions are the ones in which the answer is right there in the text it can be one word or a sentence 
which is given there in the passage and you just have to pick that out and give it in the answer. Then the think and search type of questions are in which you need to uh, recall, you need to think about the facts which the author has given in the text. Then you are supposed to uh, search for them, think about them and then search it in the passage and give it there in the answer as it is. Then the next type of questions, author and you. These require you to correlate what you already know about the topic, your prior knowledge about it and what you have read in the topic, in the text and then you correlate both of them and give your answer in your own words. It is like you have to give your own views about the topic. What do you think about what the author is saying in the passage? So you must understand the text also and you need to relate it to your prior knowledge about the topic, right? Then the fourth type of questions are on your own in which these type of questions are based on your own knowledge and your own experience which is related to this topic. So uh, basically uh, directly you don't have any link with the passage which is given. Okay, you have just have to give out your own experiences, your own thoughts about it and that's it. So thank you for watching this video and I hope um, we have tried to give you some good strategies to go about with the reading comprehension topic. For more such lessons, do visit the English Academy.